everyone, it's Tiffany with Miller's Mad Creations and today I wanted to walk you through how to use one of these SVGs that has the pack number with these extra numbers. So this video is going to show you how to do it in silhouette and I may cover Cricut in a separate video, I'm not sure yet. Okay, so you go purchase your um, SVG file and then you can either download it or it's going to be sent in an email and you just download your file and then you're going to go open it up in your Silhouette Studio. I'm going to go find one real quick. And I'm going to use the Cub Scout SVG file. Okay, so once you open your file, you're going to see that it's all connected together. So you're going to right click and then ungroup. And now you can see that your pack numbers are separate and you can move them around. So any of these numbers are all individually, they're all disconnected there by themselves. So all you need to do is I'm going to grab them and move them a little bit and then I'm going to put my pack where I want it and you can move this around and put it however you want because whenever you cut it out and whether you're making a t-shirt with it or a decal with it um, you can place it however you want. So one thing I like to do is to duplicate everything in case I do mess up I still have my originals. Okay so I need pack number and I'm just going to throw a number out there and again if I need a duplicate number I'm just going to duplicate which on a Mac is command D or you can right click and duplicate and then I'm going to highlight all of them and I'm going to make sure they are spaced out evenly and lined up evenly. Okay, so I just put everything back. If I want, I can go ahead and group these together and then I can make sure that this is all lined up evenly. Here's my SVG, depending on if you want Cub Scouts or Cub Scout, you just choose whichever one you want. Here's the design I'm going to use. You're just going to send everything over and set everything up like you would to cut depending on the material you're going to use and that's it that's how easy it is to create your own pack number for this file i hope this helps if you have any questions feel free to message me